Hare Krishna. Many of us have an ego because of which we deny whatever wrongs we do. We don't like to admit our mistakes and that's understandable because we feel threatened, we feel undermined, we feel insecure when we have to admit our mistakes. So that's one extreme of denying our mistakes and always blaming others for whatever bad has happened in our lives. But we need to be careful that we don't go to the other extreme also. We need to be responsible for our actions, but we don't need to beat ourselves down because of our actions. What does that mean? If we refuse to accept ourselves because of our weaknesses or our wrongdoings, then what will happen? It, it, then we will, we will be left with no resource. We are after all our only resource. Now suppose somebody has to fight a war and they have a sword, they have a gun say, now that's not the best, that's not an automatic gun. But if they, they, they imagine that gun is an automatic gun and going to the war, they'll be in big trouble. Because if they, they don't have the necessary caution when they're fighting with somebody who has a better weapon than them. But on the other hand, if they think, oh, this gun is useless and therefore they don't fight at all, then they will be plundered. And even if they had the possibility to defend themselves from the invaders, they won't be able to defend themselves. So similarly for us, we are our only resource. We cannot be, we, uh, it's not healthy to be overconfident about our resource, but it's also not healthy to be, to be, to reject our resource, to deem it as worthless and useless. We have to, if the war has to be fought, it has to be fought with whatever weapons we have. Knowing the value of the weapon and knowing the limitation of the weapon. So the same approach we need to have toward ourselves. Otherwise, if we just keep beating ourselves up, that self-flagellation, if we think I am worthless, I am useless and we don't even endeavor, then that is not humility conducive to transcendence, that is lethargy that arises from and aggravates ignorance. Such a mindset, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita 18.35, to be determination in ignorance. Ya sapnam bhayam shokam vishadam madame vachana vimunchati durmedha that oh, daydreaming, fearfulness, moroseness, intoxication, all these characterize the mode of ignorance. So refusing to accept ourselves because of our limitations is in the mode of ignorance. Uh, refusing to accept our weaknesses and thinking that we are perfect is in the mode of passion. But we need, just as we need courage to, uh, when we feel threatened and scrutinized and chastised and it requires courage to accept that. If somebody has done something wrong and they confess, I have done something wrong, that's courage. But it also requires courage to accept ourselves with our mistakes. This is what I am and even if I have defects, I'm not going to go down without a fight. I'm going to fight to the best of my capacity till my last breath. So accepting ourselves as our only resource and fighting in the pursuit of self-improvement, that is also heroic. And both these forms of acceptance are what in, will enable us to have the transformation that will take us to a transcendence. Thank you. Hare Krishna.